Hey y'all, hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Um, I just wanted to come on, there I go with the item um, again. I wanted to come on and give an update. Today is day number seven of my liver strength diet. It's going good so far and I know within seven days, it's only about today's day number seven, but my weight has like fluctuated like by a couple pounds every day like I'll be at like 310 and then I'll be at 312 um, somewhere around in there so I'm sure I'm gonna lose more between now and now and surgery in three and a half weeks or however many days it is now um, but I wanted to update about that so far the diet is going really well. Not going to lie, I have cheated a few times. Not on, like, the meals that I've eaten. But, like, the night before last I was watching TV and I was like, I really, really want something to snack on. So, I ate two handfuls of plain popcorn with just some salt on it. I know popcorn's not in the diet, but I ate two handfuls. That satisfied me. And then... I went and got some sugar-free popsicles, so I thought, well, maybe I can eat those on snack. I'm not really supposed to. I'm supposed to only do exactly what that diet says. Uh, and then I did eat one small piece of pie. My mama, bless her heart, she... She knows better than to, to bake a pie while I'm on a diet. You smell it and you see it and it's like, huh, I really, really want some. I tried, but I just didn't have the willpower. I had to eat a piece. But anyways, it'll get better. Hopefully, I've told her, quit bringing stuff into the house like that. If you do, please hide it. Don't even let me know it's here. Because if, if it's out of sight, out of mind. Um, also, I wanted to talk about, real quick, the powdered drink mixes. This is Crystal Light. I actually don't like this kind. It's Wild Strawberry. I did mix one into a water and it tasted so sweet that I couldn't drink it but so I got all the packs out of the container I have like a metal metal canister with a lid on it that I dump all my packages into so the boxes don't take up in the the cupboard because I buy a lot of these but anyways I wanted to tell you be careful when you buy these, I don't know if you can see this or not, if it'll focus. I don't think it's going to focus. Right here, it says, with caffeine. I'm not supposed to have caffeine. I know many of us are not supposed to have caffeine. I'm going to be allowed after surgery at some point I'll be allowed to have caffeine again but at this point I'm not allowed to have caffeine right now so I didn't pay any attention because I know some of these say like energy or whatever I don't grab those but usually you know the other crystal light grape ones and stuff that I got it doesn't have with caffeine so I just wanted to tell you know keep an eye out for that guys if you're not allowed to have caffeine because like I said this one says with caffeine um, and I don't know if it says on here, well, yeah, so, like, really, and I didn't know this until just now, serving this pack is two servings. Well, hell, we dump one in a bottle of water, and, um, yeah, I don't, it doesn't have added sugar, but, I don't know, but it has caffeine, so, 
Anyways, I just wanted to update about those two things. As many of you may already know, if you follow my Instagram, my Facebook, I don't think many of you guys are on my Facebook, because I don't, I don't add a whole lot of people on my Facebook that, um, a whole lot of new people. I mean, I do have some people on there, but mainly on Instagram. So yesterday, I had let my dogs out front. And for some reason, my dogs will not behave themselves. They want to carry on and try to attack the neighbor's dogs through the fence. So I didn't realize the neighbor dogs was out. And I let my dogs out. And of course, they Snoopy was already at the fence. And Chloe went to take off running to the fence. And I tried to grab her collar. Her collar caught my pinky on this side. Right here at the joint. Her collar. And... When it first happened, I mean, I didn't feel anything, you know. I, I was in the mindset to get them in the house because they was being bad. So, as I'm walking them to the house, holding on to their collars, all of a sudden my pinky feels like it's, like, this big around and is just throbbing. And I look at it, and of course it's bleeding from by the fingernail, and it's bent. I can't move it. I'm like, great. Well, I know there's not a lot they can do for a broken finger usually, but I didn't want to try to straighten it on my own just because I've worked in healthcare, I've seen different things, you know, and if I did do some kind of damage, I didn't want to damage it more by trying to straighten it myself, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I went and had an x-ray, and it's broke. From like where the joint is, it's broken on this side and this side of the joint, kind of like at a angle like this, where the collar pulled and pulled it back. So he said um, that I may have to get what's called a K wire or something put in there to kind of just hold them in place while they're healing. Um, I go to the orthopedic surgeon on Monday, which that's a whole nother story. I'm so aggravated with them because I called to make an appointment and she said, well, since you was seen at the emergency room, we'll see you one time, but you have a balance of $232 from last year when you had your carpal tunnel surgery. And I said, well, I don't understand how I have a balance because before I even had surgery, when they approved it through the insurance, they said, okay, insurance is covering all of this. You have to cover this amount, which I had to pay the morning of surgery. So how I have a balance of $232 is beyond me because I've never seen a bill. But anyways, whatever. So um, I'm aggravated about that. But anyways, I'm going to go Monday and see what the orthopedic surgeon says needs to be done. And then, I guess, if I have to go back a second time, I'm going to have to pay them $232. But I'm going to talk, I'm going to, talk to um, Billy and I'm going to say I want to know exactly where this amount is coming from. Because, you know, like I said, I had to pay up front the day of surgery what my insurance wouldn't cover, so, anyways, uh, I went to the college today, I am filling out to do a medical withdrawal for the rest of this semester, just because I have one, one professor that keeps canceling cat class, I'm not the type of person that can just read something and learn it. I, I'm in class to learn, and, you know, then on top of that, you know, with this finger and stuff, I can't get in the, the computers and take stuff apart and this and that right now. And plus, my surgery's coming up in, you know, a few weeks, and it's just a big mess. So I, I went and filled out for medical withdrawal today. Hopefully I'll be able to get it. Because if I get approved to do the medical withdrawal or whatever, I don't have to pay a percentage of my um, student loans back. Which, that's another thing that aggravates me, is, you know, if you just withdraw or whatever, just 
for whatever reason, after a certain point, they make you pay a percentage of your, your student loans back to the school. So you're telling me that a student loan that I already I ha, that is a loan that I have to pay back after I'm out of college, if I drop my classes to retake them the following semester, I have to pay you, the college, a percentage of that money back, plus I still have to pay my that the, the same amount of student loans. Yeah, that's how they get you, y'all. Highway robbery. It's ridiculous. But anyways, what are you gonna do? I mean it's it's stupid, but anyways, so other than that there's really nothing new going on. Uh yeah, I think that's about it. So I will probably update next week sometime. I guess I'll probably update on Monday after I see the orthopedic surgeon. I know that's not to do with my weight loss, but hey, it's something I can come on and chit chat and you know. So, anyways, I will talk to you guys later. I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. Also, if you're in the way of the hurricane, I hope everyone evacuated. I have family that's in Panama City um, Beach that did not evacu evacuate. Um, the last I heard from them, they had no electric. There was trees down on their neighbor's cars. And so I'm pretty worried about them because they did not evacuate. But... My one cousin, she's a an ER nurse, so she has to be has to work. I think I think she said like Thursday or something after the hurricane. But anyways, ER nurse, doctor, whatnot. If there's a hurricane coming and you ain't gotta be at work right then, get your ass out of the way. It ain't worth it. But anyways. I hope everyone has a safe, wonderful evening, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.